Hey guys, Jay here. Uh, so recently I am leveling a new character apart from this uh, level 96 uh, Falconer. Uh, and that is a Hammerdin, the Smite Hammerdin. And I got a question from a few of the person who actually joined my stream. Uh, that how did I manage to farm four of the Smite Idol already? because that is actually quite a rare drop as some people doesn't even have it dropped ever so it looks like this one i have four currently equipped on my uh, paladin which i will show you later in this in this video uh, but basically it roll four to nine percent uh to cast might when you hit with throwing attacks so yeah the target is to get that and the, the way that I use to target from that is actually actually very very simple so basically I go to the idol prophecies here the Dices telescope uh, it is recommended to buy the focusing lens of faith here for 15% chance per rank to find adorned idols this is only rank required rank 2 so probably everyone should be able to buy this one the other one I think doesn't matter for me I am using this uh, rank 7 because I can so basically it it cost me less time and a little bit uh, less uh, favor overall compared to the reward that I get so the thing that I do is basically uh, get this lens put it in here and then just uh, try to get the quest that reward you with adorn idols uh, let's find another one here if there for example it this one require a uh, for the empire timeline uh, 260 i can do it because i can push a uh, torsion to 260 if you uh, started uh, late and maybe you cannot handle uh, or you have not reached the corruption level yet then you can just uh, ignore that one keep rolling and find another one yeah but you know you got the idea uh, i just before this, I actually got two more of these. For example, this one uh, only requires you to kill three exile mages. This one, you can even kill the exile mages in the campaign. You don't even need to do it in monolith. But in monolith, there is one exile mage every map, every monolith uh, echoes. So that this one is very simple to do. This one also is very simple. Uh, it requires you to do so far bastion run dungeon. Uh, it does not specifically uh, tell you that you have to complete uh, which tier of the dungeon so this one you just do a tier one that is okay if you can if you want to you can do a higher tier obviously but doesn't matter as long as you kill a sofi dungeon uh, sofi bastion dungeon boss then you can have eight idols drop immediately as your extra reward and that is the way that i used to target farm i, I do all the farming in this character with this character uh, with the falconer uh, but I got a couple of uh, interesting items, so uh, I want to change the pace a little bit here. Because uh, with this character, pretty much uh, the gears that I can use for upgrade, uh, there are still plenty. However, they, it doesn't really change how the build function, so I want to change the pace a little bit, play a different build maybe. And uh, this one, let me show you uh, the Smite Hammer did. It is only level 94. Uh, 59 uh, still very low level just uh, entered monolith and here are the uh, let's let's wait for this to pass this here is the these my idols that I was talking about yeah so I found all four of these before I actually played uh, make this character you can you know you can actually just use the same character you can just start out with this character and use the same strategy if you are choosing the circle of fortune faction if you go for trade then the obvious way is to just buy it if you don't have it drop but for circle of fortune that is i think the best way to target farm this particular item uh, adorn idol uh, if you want any other kind of idols that is rare to drop uh, then of course you can use the same method just need to know which idol base it is also other items as well for example i also did farm for a lot of uh of uh bows of legendary bows and uh, in 
in order to find a three or four LP uh, talents of valor. I actually have one. I got probably like 50 total bows dropped and I have uh, one with a three LP here and another one with one LP here. Yeah, so that is pretty much the way uh, to almost guarantee you to drop the item that you want um, for relatively, relatively short amount of time. So yeah, let me know if you find this helpful. Uh, the rest of the video is uh, just going to be uh, a me running one random monolith just to show uh, anyone who doesn't know uh, this might uh, paladin what it is. Just uh, basically how the build looks like and why do I want it to farm this idol in particular. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you are, if you already know what this Mike Tamerdin is, then you don't need to see the later part. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel if you think this content is useful and helpful and maybe interesting to you. Yeah, so this is Type Mike Tamerdin. Basically, it allows the hammer, whenever it hits enemy, it has chance to cast Smite. So, you do not have to cast yourself. This is very, very iconic build uh, in last epoch. One of the very, very good build, very well-rounded. Sentinel has a lot of uh, defensive tools. Because we are using a throwing attacks, uh, the weapon we can choose a one hand and have a very very defensive uh, weapon uh, shield in off hand for example. Or if you want to be uh, more crit oriented, you can have a high crit base weapon and maybe also a high uh, a crit base. What is it? The, the off hand. Ah, here is the exile mage. This build is still a very low level, so the damage and everything can be improved by a lot. But yeah, that is how the build looks like. I will try to f finish this uh, monolith before end the video. I still have to figure out a lot of things uh, with this character to be max and make it uh, feel better to play. There's also another version uh, with Void Knight, which uh, has a node in the passive tree actually to convert all the damage of the smite to void, which is very cool. You can use uh, vitality stacking for that because uh, Void Knight is heavily, heavily vitality stack oriented. That is the Hammerdin Smite Hammerdin. So again, thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.